Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. This video is one day later than normal because unfortunately we didn't have any time to prepare content when it comes to this early access of the brand new reserve. But today we are going to jump into New England Mountains and hunt around a little bit, probably go for some moose and kind of show you guys what you can expect with this map because though there isn't any new species on it, the map itself is actually pretty beautiful. Now I don't exactly know where this is going to rank in my top map. So far it's, I don't think it's going to be my number one. It's not going to be my worst either. I feel like it's going to be kind of middle of the road, but it's a fun map. It's got some pretty beautiful scenery and it looks like it's going to be pretty decent for a lot of these species that are on here. That right there is the brand new warning call for the moose. I'm so excited that they did such a massive overhaul to them when introducing the moose great one. They really outdid themselves with the new models for the moose, the new sounds for them, the new animations and everything. The moose are honestly probably one of the most polished animals in the entire game now. So at this point I've played a few hours of this brand new map and I gotta say though I do love how open most of the drink zones are for the moose and all of the other species. A few issues do show up when you get to this middle river. It's insanely brushy and very windy so it does make it very difficult to hunt the animals that are in here. And obviously if you guys are doing a moose grind that's going to be a bit of a problem because there is zones all over. However, they are quite spread out and they're in these little brushy areas along this smaller river. Luckily, that's probably the only area that's going to be super difficult is this little river. The rest of the river surrounding the map is super wide open from what I've seen, except for obviously I haven't gone to the very top yet, but it seems pretty open for the most part, and I think that is going to be a good thing in the long run. It is nice to have such wide open areas where all of their zones are, though they are quite spread out in many cases. Unfortunately, we did not quite get the heart there, but that moose should go down, and it should go down right now. And look at that animation as well. They really outdid themselves with the moose this time around. This is such a good rework to them, and I cannot wait to be grinding them once the full release happens. We've been hunting them off and on throughout the day, but I'm not going to start a full grind for the great one until we hit full release. That way I actually get to keep it. You guys may have also noticed this beautiful 300 Magnum I'm holding right now. This one has been customized with the brand new skin system that is added with this update. And we will go over that in a different video most likely. But for this one I just wanted to do a little bit of hunting for the moose on New England. And it's been uh, pretty good so far. Really been enjoying the skin system, really been enjoying uh, the moose hunting on the map. It's pretty cool. There's also a really awesome new feature with the harvest screen where you can do a bunch of things we couldn't before, like clicking inspect, which will take you into this screen right here so you can examine the animal a little bit closer. And if you take multiple shots, they will give you the option to cycle through all of them so you can see the different poses. You can also hit back like that, and if for some reason you claimed an animal and you didn't want to claim it yet, you can just hit back, and the animal will still be here. This is a massive improvement to the old harvest screen, because the old one was very limiting in a lot of ways. This one has so much more to it and is just amazing overall. This is probably one of my favorite changes that they made with this update. Something else that I noticed that is quite a drastic change that I think is going to take a little while for us to adapt to is they have increased the spook range for all rifles and that's really going to affect a lot of our grinds because we used to be able to shoot animals and have another herd from like 200 meters not hear us at all. But it seems that now they will 100% hear you and we're going to test it right now and see if that is the case from 300. And it definitely is. That moose is out of here now. So that's really going to make a lot of my old grinding setups not really relevant anymore because I'm not going to be able to kill all of the animals that I could previously and so I'm going to end up having to go to a lot of the places twice just to get all of them. So that's a very massive change and they didn't really talk about it. I noticed it earlier when I was hunting around off stream and well, it's definitely going to be a game changer in a lot of different ways and I'm curious to see how everybody's going to react to it. Now I am curious just how far this spook range is. This is about 330 away. What happens if I just shoot straight up in the air? So it seems like from 330 everything is fine. I'm going to keep trying this until we figure out exactly what the new distance is. I would imagine it's probably around 300. 
Maybe not. We actually might be able to do it a little bit closer. We'll try one more time. I really want to nail down what the distance is that we need to uh, be careful with our shots. It looks like, well, that notified her. So I wonder if it's also going to take into account just how far the bullet is away from hitting them. That could also be. She did go up from 270 though, so I imagine 250 is probably about the spook range now. It used to be around 200 from what I remember, so this is definitely going to change things up a little bit. Honestly, the colors on this map are absolutely beautiful. I think that's got to be my favorite part of it. The color palette that they chose for this map is just amazing. We got ourselves some moose over there. Let's try to get a couple shots into them. Let's see if we can hit a shot from here. Man, I absolutely love the animations for the moose. I just can't get over it. I feel like every time we've looked at one in this video, I've mentioned that and well, I just can't get over it. And the other thing that I really can't get over is the blood dropping from the animal after you shoot it now. That is something I've always thought was missing from Call of the Wild that would have made things so much more immersive from the beginning. For the longest time, we always had just a little dust cloud that would pop up off of the animal whenever you would shoot it. Now we've actually got full-on blood dropping from the animal. So that alone is a pretty massive improvement to the way every shot feels in this game. Now, as much as I am enjoying all the things I just mentioned, there is one thing that's really been driving me crazy that I feel like I have to mention so people won't think I'm glossing over it. It's the line at the bottom of the binoculars. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I'm really hoping that bug gets fixed because that drives me absolutely crazy. Before you guys get done watching this video, be sure to let me know in the comments what your favorite part of this update is and if there's anything in particular that just stands out above everything else for you. For me, it's got to be a couple of things. The attention to detail with the moose rework and obviously the great one moose and then the weapon skin system and the new blood animations every time you shoot the animal. I think that's got to be some of my favorite parts of this update. Not to mention the inspect feature in the harvest screen is really nice. They've really outdone themselves when it comes to the quality of life stuff. And I'm really happy that for once they focused on an update that greatly contained more free content than paid content relating to the new map. It's nice to see so much stuff get added to the game that was completely free instead of it all just being reliant on the DLC map. And I think that's a massive step in the right direction, especially with the backfilling of reserves where almost every reserve got a new animal like Pronghorn to Rancho or Wolves to Medved and Capricalis to Medved. There's been so many good changes with this update that did not cost a thing. And I think that is by far my favorite thing about the update. Just the amount of free content is larger than anything we've ever seen in the past for Call of the Wild. And just like that, we have smoked another moose. You may have also just noticed that hard shots do not drop them anymore. They run a few feet and then topple over. And I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure if it's realistic. I mean, the animation looks cool, but it is going to make it a little bit less efficient, I guess, whenever you're moose grinding because they'll still run a few feet, though I really don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. And this should be the final moose that we need to claim. This one is uh, definitely nothing too special, though none of them really have been anything too special, so that is what it is. We're mainly here just to show off all of the changes to them and give you guys a little bit of a look at New England Mountains, as this is a very beautiful reserve. And now that we have reached this brand new outpost, I think it's time that we take a look at the weapon skin system, because it's honestly pretty cool. Now, there is one thing that I do need to talk about before we cover everything. And that is the fact that whenever you customize your weapon, the skins that you see is really going to depend on which DLC maps that you own. From what I understand, there is going to be a decent bit of them that will be free. However, there's also going to be a lot that come with the different DLC maps. I know at this point, most of us own a lot of the maps or at least a few of them. So I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. But there's definitely some people that I could see getting quite upset over a lot of the skins being a part of the DLCs. 
Now, as far as I know, it doesn't seem like they're going to be like individual skin packs. It seems like it's just you buy the reserve and the reserve will come with a few skins for your gun. It, it seems like that, at least from what I can tell. They did post something talking about the different skins and what we can expect with them. And something that they did mention was that there was going to apparently be a free skin pack or something like that that will contain a six skins that are kind of related to the New England map. Now, as for which ones those are, it's hard to say, but somebody pointed that out to me recently and it did uh, kind of catch me by surprise as I did not know that was going to be a thing. But as we can see, there's a lot of skins that say New England. So the question is, what are these going to be or how are these going to be introduced into the game? Are all of these going to come with the map or is it going to be a free skin pack or are they just going to come with the base game? I don't really know how this is going to work, but I'm interested to see how they end up doing it. But the skin customization system is pretty cool. There is a lot of stuff that you can do. You can make a lot of weird and wacky combinations. A lot of them that I probably honestly would never use, but you can definitely have a lot of creative freedom with these skins and kind of just go crazy with it and literally do whatever you want. You could do a random hodgepodge of different camos like we've got here, or you could try to go with something a little bit more realistic, a little bit more nice looking, uh, something along the lines of this right here. This right here is probably one of my favorite wraps that they ended up introducing with this update. It looks really nice. A lot of people wanted camo guns in the game uh, for a very long time, and really all we had was the 270 Warden, but now we actually have the option to add camos to all of our guns and I cannot wait to see what they add in the future because I doubt they're going to stop here. I imagine we're going to get more in the future, which would be really, really cool because there's already a lot of different customization options now. So if they add more, it's just going to get even more insane. We're going to go back to what I had previously, though, and uh, continue hunting with it like this. And essentially how you access the customization screen is any of the guns that you have in your storage locker you can just hover over it and on pc you press c if you're on console it'll tell you what you need to press to uh, bring it up but it is a uh, fairly user friendly and easy to access and man there is a lot of really cool combinations that you can do this has been one of my favorite ones to use on the stocks because it really reminds me of like the green synthetic stocks that some hunting rifles have very cool and for some of them it fits them better than others like this 223 looks fantastic with the green absolutely love the way it looks and i've noticed that this right here can a lot of times act as like kind of a silver to the barrel uh, it doesn't work on every single weapon it doesn't look uh, as good on some as it does on others one that i've been liking it on for sure though is the 7mm Regent Magnum. This combination looks fantastic. We've got the laminated wood as well as this kind of silvery job on the barrel. Really like this combination. I think it looks amazing and really you could combine it with anything and it would look just as good. I just really like this particular silverish paint on the barrel and then like I said literally anything you combine it with it's going to look at least half decent and for a lot of them it's going to look really nice. Well, let's go ahead and do this one right here instead of the uh, wood that we had previously. I do think this looks pretty cool, so let's just accept that. And you also don't pay anything until you click apply, which is really nice. You can kind of just view each of them and see how it looks to get what you want out of your gun and your customization. And also, the fact that you can completely cover the 7 mil is pretty wild. If you wanted to, you could just completely make it camo like this. But I hope you guys enjoyed this brief look at the brand new reserve, New England Mountains, as well as a look at the customization system and some of the changes that happened with the moose and uh, other stuff that we were able to take a look at here on New England. There is still tons of changes on other maps that we haven't gone through yet, but most likely they will be in their own video because there is a lot of changes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We are insanely close to 80,000 subscribers and we're trying to get there before the end of December. So I really would appreciate it and it really does help me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.